it's finally coming true. I'm a kitty. Meow, 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 meow. I know I'm lame, but I wish to be a kitten. I do. I've never done a peace sign before. Interesting. Okay, moving on. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with the Halloween book tag. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but today is Halloween, so just makes sense to do the Halloween book tag. It was originally created by Naomi the Book Lover, so I will leave her link down below if you want to check it out. So without further ado, let us get started! The first question is Carving Pumpkins, and it is a book that you want to carve up and light on fire. If you watched my 7 and 7 readathon, you probably know what this book is. I hate it with a burning passion. And it is Galaxy of Empires by Bruce Marion. I still have not donated this book to the thrift store. It's been sitting on my floor since I made the unhaul video. But I hate this book so, so much. It uses the R word as an insult. Which is literally my biggest pet peeve. I don't understand why people do it. It's 2016. Moving on. And just the characters were all different names than they were originally, so like it would start off as one name and then by the end of the book it was a whole different name and I was like, where is this coming from? But I really just hate this book, so I'm cutting it up and I'm writing it on fire. The second question is trick or treat and it is to name a character who is a trick and to name a character who is a treat. So my treat is Magnus Bane from the Infernal Devices, The Mortal Instruments, and The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. He is my baby. I love him so, so much. I think he's the cutest thing in the entire world, and I just... He's such a treat in my life. I love him, so he's my treat. My trick is Will Herondale from The Infernal Devices, because as much as I love Will, he's a little shit. So he's a trick, but I mean I would take the trick anyways, because I like Will. He's cute. Question number three is Candy Corn, and you need to name a book that is always sweet, so I am going with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, mostly because Levi is in this book, and he is just such a sweetheart. And any scene he is in, you're just like, my heart, you're so cute. So, this is my book that's always sweet. Number four is Ghosts, and you need to name a character that you want to visit you as a ghost, and I am going with Jem from The Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. I love Jem, and I just need him to come see me and say hello because he's a little sweetheart and I just want to hug him and just talk to him because he's just so like squishy. I just want... he's so cute. The next question is dressing up in costume and you need to name a character that you want to be for a day. And I am going to say I want to be Cinder from the Luna Chronicles by Marissa Meyer because I one want to hang out with Captain Thorne. I just, ugh, love me some Captain Thorne, but I don't want to be crushed because, like, I don't know why. I just want to be Cinder. Actually, honestly, I would be crushed, too. I just, either crushed or Cinder. But the main reason is because I want to hang out with Aiko, because I just love Aiko. I love her so dang much. I think she's so fun, and I just want her to be, like, my older sister or something. I just, oh, she's so cool. Next is Wizards and Witches, and you need to name your favorite Harry Potter moment. I have not read Harry Potter, so I'm going to skip this question. Please don't hate me. Next and final question is Blood and Gore, and you need to name a book that was so creepy that you had to stop for a while. I've never had a book that I can't read because it's creepy because I'm into that stuff. I like the creepy aspect of books, but I did have a couple of books where it was like really gory and I have a super weak stomach, so I had to kind of be like, okay, we're reading this, I'm fine, this is okay, we're cool, like my stomach feels like I'm gonna puke, but we're gonna get through this. And I'm gonna go with The Merciless by Danielle Vega. There's a couple like torture scenes in it that I was just like, ah, no. But like I never stopped reading it, so I don't know if it counts, but we're going with it. Alright guys, so that was the Halloween book tag. I hope you all have a happy Halloween and eat lots of candy because I'm very excited about it. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yes. Name a character. Nope, that's not right.